Hi guys, it's Morgan Rad here on behalf of Kung Fu's Blades. Highlanders is a season about bravery, independence. We were much inspired by the strong spirit of Scottish people, their warriors, and of course their roots, history, music, and culture. We've been uh, listening to your feedback on social media about how much you'd like to have more gameplay mechanics and modes added to the game. And uh, Highlander season is our first step on a few seasons journey of introducing some radical improvements and additions to Conqueror's Blade gameplay. Our new map is designed with, uh, with few key features on mind and to experiment with. First of all, it's not a classical siege. We tried mixing uh, siege design by removing walls and separating the map by two parts, adding a village and a small castle on the hill. Secondly, we realized that trebuchet shooting trajectory on all other maps was too much dictating locations where defenders picked their fights. Because of that, defenders chose to hide behind the walls or building corners. That led to battles being more predictable and Better. That's why our second experiment is removing trebuchet mechanics for our new map. So defenders can pick their fights anywhere on the map and have more variety in their strategies, how they organize their defenses. And by that, making the gameplay more unpredictable. And at last, but not least, we added few oil fields around the village. So those can be incinerated by flame arrows, by artillery, and some other ranged abilities and units. So. The new map is 12 versus 12, and we hope you'll enjoy it. Don't forget to check that what castle is hiding. We left some famous stone over there in the castle. So now straight forward to the seasonal units. After your feedbacks on uh, Season Tyranny units, we decided to still be experimenting with absolutely new CB units types, but still being very much close to historical references as the key priority. So, Tier 3 is the first of its kind dedicated support unit, Backpipers. They will increase their allies' combo capabilities, and due to our new system of calculating score points for buffing, healing, applying crowd control effects, players will be well rewarded by helping their allies. Backpipes is one of the most recognizable symbols of Scotland, so they are the pride and soul of Scottish people. They are not just artists, they are soldiers and warriors, first of all. Their role is to inspire the army and let other soldiers remember what they're fighting for. Our families, our homeland. T4, our brave hearts with claimers. They're not the most physically strongest, skillful, or professional swordsmen. They also don't possess the best armor or equipment in the expanding universe of Conqueror's Blade. But what makes this man unique is their bravery and strong spirit. We build this unit around bravery key point. They know that they may die, but still charge and cleave against all the odds and all the surrounding allies, while being inspired by their example, receive temporary but strong buffs. Their ultimate ability is their last stand for freedom, for their homeland, for Highlands. It's a long cooldown ability that should be carefully timed because after it expires, the unit is absolutely exhausted and suffering strong debuffs. They're the fighting spirit of the Highlands, claimers, our brave hearts. Tier 5 Houndsman is our first of its kind animal unit that is led by their masters. Equipped with short bows, they will pierce enemy weak spots, and their deer hounds, unique dogs breeds of Highlands, will be ready to charge forward and wreak chaos to enemy ranks before their masters call them back to retreat. It's a unique hybrid unit, and we hope that you'll enjoy Highlanders Dogs of War. Based on your feedback uh, about the old inventory system, we have fully reworked the inventory. So now all the items are categorized and new slots are added. We really hope that you'll feel no more stress for having your inventory being full and you'll enjoy this change. Another system that we decided to rework but totally remove is caring for your horses. From now on, the Teddy's procedure of feeding your horses, repairing those, is no more. We hope that you will enjoy that a lot and spend some time on something more fun from now. 
We have also reworked the character creation menu and it's uh, actually our first step on the way of adding new facial features uh, like skin colors, customization, skulls, different races. So uh, you will see that in uh, upcoming seasons after Highlands. Another cool feature since we are talking uh, Highlanders in Celts, it's our new face paints and war paint system. You can get tattoos and war paints on different parts of Conqueror's Blade as rewards and our BP100, as mentioned, also features this unique uh, war paint. In order to help our new warlords, we have also improved our new player experience by improving the tutorial and adding some voice uh, overs over there, tool tips, reworking the logic. We truly hope that our new warlords will feel more confident and comfortable during their first steps in the game. For the engine part, we have improved many things uh, regarding the optimization. Uh, what should be mentioned that you will notice first is improved fur physics. We are also working on snow on the ground physics, mod physics that will be hitting in 2022 and uh, we're adding much more stuff. And uh, we're spending much effort on improving the hero animations in the game. So now uh, you will also see how the hero stops uh, and begins his movement, how much flawlessly it is, and we'll be further on improving these parts of animations process. Another small but cool feature that will hit not on the release but during Highlanders is black magic, close to absolute heresy of course, long-awaited ability for players to climb down ladders from the walls. We hope to open new tactical possibilities for you and prevent those suicidal jumps that been happening for years. Let's save some lives. Now let's talk about territory wars and the open world. We have been working on a totally new system called War Theater. This KS Engine technology will allow all players in the big world to see each other and interact with each other. Previously, as you know, Big World was separated by a few instances and we were uh, aiming to create a new fully united map, so you'll see all other players on the server. This feature will launch in, on majority of world servers with the release of Highlander seasons and all the rest servers will follow up during the Highlanders. We heard about your feedback about FIFS management and uh, like to improve during, uh, on the release of Highlanders the management and upgrade systems for thieves. So from now on the damage uh, to thieves that have been captured will be reduced. Also we are increasing the level of thieves and you will have a more meaningful, easier and rewarding system for upgrading your thieves. Amount of materials to upgrade thieves is decreased and rewards are increased. Thieves quests are also reworked and you have much more rewards for completing those. We hope that you will enjoy that change as well. We also have a couple of uh, not announced surprises that are gonna hit during Highlander season. Our general direction for the year 22 is to be creating new game modes and mechanics, uh, rework the way that we're approaching balancing units and heroes, and avoid the situations when there are only few units spammed every game. We also are focusing on absolutely new unit types and gameplay for those, while still improving the sounds, UI, UI animations, and the game optimization. Even though not all of your messages on social media like Red, Discord, Facebook or Steam are being replied directly to simply because there are just too many of those. Uh, we can assure you that uh, we read all of them, uh, all of these suggestions and reviews. Our goal now is to make a step closer to be in touch with you by creating more videos like this one and let you know what's going on with Conqueror's Blade. Well, thank you very much for your attention guys and for playing our game. Despite all ups and downs, we believe that Conqueror's Blade is just beginning its path. And we have much to show that will surprise you in the upcoming seasons. Thank you all guys, and we'll see you on Season Highlanders Battlefields. With true gratitude and love, Booming Tech. Well guys, for more detailed overview of the patch notes, you can read those on our pages and uh, ask some questions on Discord. We will be keeping uh, in touch with you. It was Anton, IKA Morgengrad. I'll see you all. Bye.